Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. Keeping in mind this Vanara theory, do you know anything more about Vanaras? Uh, Vanars. Well, yeah, so I, um, I think there has been some sort of research which has been done, you know, where people have uh, postulated that, you know, when humans migrated out of Africa, and uh, since there is a connection between uh, aborigines of Australia and the tribals of, you know, Andamans or some remote places within India, there's a theory that probably these could be the first humans who have migrated out of Africa. You so know? it's kind of a racist theory. It's not really a racist theory as in, but it is more of a developmental theory, you know, where they were the more primitive humans. You know, it may not necessarily be uh, related to a race. It is the same. Humans, ultimately, we were the same, right? We all look the same. Mm. When we moved out of Africa, we were all probably black, mm. right? Mm. Because there were no uh, selective um, uh, genes that were uh, that we were exposed yeah. to that uh, got, uh, uh, you know, because uh, light skin and, you know, uh, different other adaptations came when we moved to different climates. Yeah. And I think Abhijit Chawla had mentioned that it takes about just 10 generations for you to look drastically different according right. to the climate you're right. living in. So when we moved out of Africa, probably all of us looked the same. Mm. But it was just, you know, when you move out and you're exposed to a new place, new challenges, you your brain develops more. And, you know, from a early man stage to today's modern human, we are a so just to be clear, when they're talking about Vanars, it's not black people because Definitely. on a lot of Western podcasts, they actually say that what's a racist theory. No, 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 not at all. It's probably some precursor to homo sapiens. Yes, yes. Possibly. Yes, yes, definitely. It does not in any way mean a race. Mm. It is probably a civilization or a culture which was not as developed as today's homo sapiens. And because you clearly see, right, they lived in jungles, they lived in caves, they lived in, they followed a rule which was very similar to the rule of, uh, uh, you know, a, jung a forest where might is right, you know. Whereas in a city from where Ram had come, you know, the whole encounter between Ram and Wali, it clearly shows, a, 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 you know, the opposite ends of spectrum of values. Mm. Where Ram says that as an older brother, Wali should have protected Sugriv because he's his the younger brother. Mm. Instead, Wali has thrown him out, taken his wife. And, you know, he and Wali is countering it by saying that, you know, might is right, you know. And Wali had a boon. Nobody could have defeated him. So it, it's not fair. Whereas in a civilization, in a civilized world, Ram says that you are supposed to take care of your younger brother like your son. You know, how do the weak survive in this world? Only when civilization exists. In the jungle or in the forest, weak don't survive. Weak are wiped off. You know, it's the slowest animal that is captured by a lion. Mm. You know, the slowest deer or fawn is what gets pounced upon. So only in a civilized world can the weak survive. Mm. Yeah, again, you know, I think as listeners and as people who study this culture, we need to bring emotion out of the conversation and see it for what it was. See it based on the information we're given. See it almost from a scientific basis. Right. You're given a certain... Uh, number of facts, figures, sentences in these scriptures, you tie it into modern day logic. You, you yes. know, when when concepts like this are pitched where, okay, the Vanarsena could have been some sort of primitive version of the yes. Homo sapien. Don't get offended by it. It's yes. so like, it's so silly to get offended by yes. it. That means you're letting your emotional side take over your logical side. Uh, and again, we're saying this from a place of respect. Yes, of course. We are trying to understand as much as anyone else. You know, mm. we are trying to make sense of it. Mm. You, by having these discussions, it's not disrespectful, disrespectful in any way to anyone. Mm. We believe in the divinity of Hanuman, yeah. the same as we believe in the divinity of Lord Ram. Yeah. You know, it does not disrespect any of them by mm. saying if you know one was coming from the cities and another from a different culture, which was based in the forest. Mm. Thank you for watching this clip. If you want to learn more about this topic, we've curated a playlist just for you, and here's a link to the whole episode.